I'm here today uh, to really to really show that entrepreneurship can actually happen for young people. That it's not always about employment, employment, employment. That even with the, the least amount of knowledge, you can still do a great lot of things. Because for me, at the age of 13, yes, I was working for my cousin. You know, he, he employed me at the age of 13, which was wonderful, which was nice. He's a year older than me, but I got fired after two weeks. So it goes to show that you know, when you're working for somebody, it's not like an everlasting thing. You're not guaranteed the job for, for, for life. So you have to create employment for yourself to know that you feel happy in what you do. So I set up my own business at the age of 14, ran a web design company for two years. And after that, at the age of 16, I became a, a junior trader. So all these opportunities coming along, I needed to inspire a lot of young kids because they were asking me so many questions. How did you become an entrepreneur? How did you become an entrepreneur? Because I come from a really poor community in London. But uh, so I wrote my first book at the age of 17 to inspire young kids called uh, The World at Your Feet, as you can see over there. A book to inspire young kids that no matter the age, race, religion, culture, where you are from in the world, everyone has the ability to become an entrepreneur and whether no matter how ordinary you are, you can still be extraordinary. <laughs>have an idea yes it's fantastic but if you've got no one to share it with no one providing that support you're really just going to keep that idea in there and so junior achievement gave me that platform to set up my own company you know employ a group of friends together and then put together this company and go and start trading and trading as a real business it's not like it's a one day thing i was running a company for a year and i renewed my my uh, my time with jay ran it for a second year and i even introduced jay into my high school where they knew nothing about entrepreneurship nothing about enterprise so i introduced jay into my college and about 150 students were running their own businesses in in the college. To be someone successful in life, there's something I call the three Ps. You have to be positive in life. No matter how bad the situation is, no matter if you've got a brick wall, a thousand feet brick wall in front of you, if you have a positive mindset, you will know that you, at least you can give it a try. Whether you fail or succeed is a completely different matter. It's about taking that first step. So always having a positive mindset. Second thing is a passion. When you go down a road in life, when you want to do something, you have to be happy for what you do. Don't force yourself down to go down a road just for the sake of money or just for the sake of doing something because someone else has done it. Because someone else does, doesn't mean you become successful. It's about what you want to do, your own vision. So be happy in that sort of field. And third thing is perseverance, hard work. Hard work takes you so far in life that, you know, it's, yes, success doesn't happen overnight. It's not an overnight thing. But hard work, you know, persistence pays off. So if you put hard work into it, 10 years down the line, you'll be looking back and you'll be smiling, you'll be laughing. So that's the message I want to give. And, you know, be positive, be passionate, and illustrate hard work, perseverance, and you'll be smiling.